it is time for the test, which I've only seen once, and I don't remember what the questions are, but it just looked really interesting. I, what, uh, that's a lot of noises. If you play Danganronpa, I will voice for you. <laughs> okay. I need to... How do I turn that down? Holy shit. Um... Okay. Oh my... Oh my god. <laughs> oh, is that the main volume? No. I can't tell if that's too loud or not. That's oh, uh, f full screen on. There we go. It's a little blurry, isn't it? Okay, so how do I go back? Um, always da dash. Okay, how do I go back? There we go. <laughs> Escape key. Seems all right volume wise. Okay, I yeah I turned it down a little bit. It was like. I don't even remember hearing the noises when I watched a single playthrough. I have a bratty girl voice. <laughs> oh, you know, I'll be convinced to do Danganronpa if I can get a few people to help me voice act. We'll see. Here's an idea, you should play Demon Slayer Hinokami Chronicles. I don't know about that, but I will look into it. I got you. <laughs> Thank you, Victory. Alright, so, um, alright, here we go. I only know, like, a little bit about the, I don't know if there's even a second part to this game, I just, it's about to get psychological. Psychological as hell. I just, it, whoa. I've never been able to see it this close. What happened here? Uh, help? Am I gonna regret this? <laughs> there's like, there's, is she dead or is she a doll on the left? I already don't like this. <laughs> um, I'm gonna pass on Hercules' facial hair. Uh, this is what my house, oh god. <laughs> Mom, pick me up, I'm sacred. <laughs> okay, alright, time to get a little serious. <clears throat> now, in order to begin, this is the most important part of this entire experience. You will be asked a series of questions and you must answer them honestly. Now when I say answer them honestly, I don't mean answer them how you'd like to answer them. Answer them with truth, even if that's hard to face. Yeah, that is gonna be the difficult part. We all wanna be good people. We rarely want to admit our faults, grievances, or mistakes. But you must decide what you truly want. Do you want this to work properly? Do you want the truth about yourself, your destiny in this world? Oh, okay. Or would you rather live a lie, just hide from yourself? <sighs> Don't judge me, Taxi. <laughs> I actually, this was recommended to me and put in my wish list like a while ago. It's just like, I happened to notice like, oh, people I follow are actually playing this. And it's a dollar ninety-nine. Like it's interesting. The process is very simple in theory. Just answer a long series of questions. What's difficult is self-analyzing your own psyche to evaluate the truths in your mind and life, so that you can predict your future. You see, as long as you're honest with these questions and answers, you'll be able to see your own future here. This will tell you things you already know, but don't necessarily know that you know. As long as the answers you provide to the questions asked are 100% honest and true, this process will simply unlock a part of your mind that you do not have natural access to. This game was $1.99 and I'm getting the answers to the universe? I I know too much about Owl Oni to play it at this point, but it's a, it's a good option. That's a real horror RPG. No, I, I know it very well. I watched it for many years. Or FNAF 4. Fuck that. I love FNAF, but I don't play the games. I'm a bitch. Okay, here we go. This isn't psychic. This isn't a personality test. This is simply nature. Do I need to move the chat box? I think you... 
<laughs> you guys might be over this. Hold on. Let me... This is you. This is your own mind. This is simply nature taking its course. This is the human brain at work, unlocking hidden truths within itself. I'm gonna move the chat box. Give me a second. Gonna put it right... There. Don't call me mommy. That's... Ooh, that's a first and that's weird. <laughs> okay. So, are we a murderer? I don't know. We gotta answer the question. I, I gotta answer the questions. <laughs> um... Well, attempting to answer many of these questions, you'll often wonder things like, well, this answer depends on the circumstances. Create your own circumstances in your mind and answer the questions with a simple yes or no as you see fit. You may not understand nor realize it, but your mind will develop the situation required to answer your question the way it needs to be answered. I invite you to grab a drink of water. I have coffee. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the experience. We are about to to begin with a series of questions and provided that you're a willing participant we will be unlocking some substantial information today here we go if I'm the little girl on the left I don't think I'm a willing participant but questions for later um <clears throat> I don't know Texie I don't know <laughs> okay Let's focus. We're here to determine my future, I guess. Do you believe that everyone should always be treated fairly? <sighs> yes. Even if I think sometimes that can become a fault. I do believe so. I have been painfully lawful good um, for most of my life, so... I, I'm answering this yes, knowing that sometimes it doesn't always result in a good answer. Do you believe that everyone should always be treated equally? Well, yes. It's just that it never happens. <laughs> it doesn't always happen. I run into it and I get baffled by it more often than I would like to see. Have you ever invented anything? I mean... Assuming that means I invented something new? I don't think so. Because I believe in the phrase, you can't reinvent the wheel. And it's, it's very difficult to actually create something new. I've never invented anything personally. Everyone is equally worthless. Well, okay. <laughs> I have to take this seriously, damn it. Um... Do you believe that you are worthy of someone's time investment? I don't even... I... <sighs> Why is this a weird question? <sighs> I... Um... <sighs> yeah, this is more difficult than I thought. I want to say yes. I want to say I am worth someone's investment. I know that I have at least someone in my life um, that makes me feel like I am worth the investment. Uh, but there are some days where I, I just, I don't know, I feel like I don't do much. I used to be a lot more confident in myself. Things have changed. Um, now, I know I, I appreciate it. I, I used again. I used to believe a lot more in myself, and things got tough whenever you know quarantine hit. But um, anyway, I want to say yes. I, I'm worthy of that investment. I, I lean more on that side than not. I. Would you consider yourself to be open-minded? Yes, because I'm constantly trying to make sure that when I phrase something or say something, or if somebody presents a, a point of view that maybe I've never heard of, I try to keep in mind that I don't know where they come from. 
so it's not as crazy as it sounds and I do that a lot would you say that you sometimes have trust issues yeah I do um, not not often but <laughs> but I do would you be alright with living alone forever It's a tough one now, isn't it? If I had to live alone forever. This is me assuming that there's no people on the planet. Like, it's just me. <laughs> I think a version of myself from the past would have been okay with this. I don't think I would anymore. I don't I don't think so. If I suddenly started living alone forever today with, you know, leaving behind what I had today, I, I wouldn't be alright. Eventually, I would not be alright. Imagine a world with no <laughs> Um. Do you always give someone the benefit of the doubt? <sighs> That's one of those, like, open-minded things. There are a lot of times where I want to. And most of the time I do. But I... I can't say that I always do it. Um, this this kind of falls back on one of the other questions. Like, kind of a trust thing. Like, you know... Uh, do you have trust issues? Like, yeah. I have some people in my life that it's very hard to forgive them. It's very hard to trust them. You know... It's... Even if they're my friend, if I have know they've lied to me in the past, it's very hard to trust them ever again. So I think that falls in line with, do you always give someone benefit of the doubt? And I don't always do that. It's it's like a 2% that I, that I don't, but it's not always. I would expect anything less of a game called the test. I usually give you the benefit of the doubt due to me. No, I mean, exactly. It's, it all relies on your experience. Do you dislike the sound of your own voice? Um, not anymore. I'm alright with the sound of my own voice. And I, um... I prefer the sound of my voice... in my head. Sometimes I hear myself on stream, and I'm and it's, it's higher pitch, and I'm like, uh... But... <laughs> After checking over, you know, a handful of VODs, I kind of got used to it, and I don't, I don't hate my voice anymore. I'm, o I'm okay with my voice. Oh shit! Wait, did I answer that wrong? D ah, fuck! I messed up. <laughs> fuck! <laughs> Can I go back? Can I go back? <laughs> shit! I feel like streaming forces you to come to try. Exactly. Like I used to think, like, oh man, I hate that I sound like a kid half the time. <laughs> But I got used to how I sound. I answered that question wrong. Keep that in mind. Do you like the color blue more than the color black? No. I, I favor shades of black and gray uh, in things that I wear, in the f freaking furniture in the house. Like, I probably favor shades of black more than blue, so. Do you like the color blue? No. Blue forever. I know, Victor, you can. <laughs> if you found money on the street and knew who it belonged to, would you give it back to them? Yes. Painfully lawful good. Are you sure you want the answers you seek? Yeah. I, I wouldn't have bought the game if I didn't. Are you afraid of spiders? You guys tell me if this counts. I get uncomfortable when spiders are suddenly too close to me. But if I see one on the wall, like, I'm not scared of it. I'm just like, ah, shit, I gotta deal with it. But if I turn around and there's suddenly, like, one on my keyboard, I will kind of like, ugh, what the hell? Um, when I play Dragon Age, like, I only scream if a spider, like, gets right up in the camera's face. Like, does that count as being afraid of spiders? Yeah, I get more scared of being surprised. It's not just spiders. There's spiders, Amogus. <laughs> Being surprised is different. Okay, then I would say no. I'm not. A, I'm not really afraid of spiders. See, my mom, phobia of spiders. 
I can't show her a video of spiders without her getting nervous, so. <sighs> Alright, no. If you knew you would emerge unscathed, would you jump into molten lava? I... People of what? Canton City! Oh, people of Canton City. <laughs> I... So here's the thing. And yeah, this is where, like, I kind of remember something from Mark's playthrough. Um... I don't think it rules out that you're gonna feel pain. I think you will still feel pain. It's just that you'll emerge unscathed. Uh, cabbage EK tree trying to swim in lava. So, here's the thing. Um, I think I would. And here's my reasoning. Even if it hurts, that's an interesting experience to go through. And if it doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger. Yeah, I would jump in the lava. Pain or no. Surviving doesn't mean painless. No, no, yeah, no, I, I completely understand. Like, I've seen people, I've seen Mark pass it, because he's like, I don't want to hurt. <laughs> but, you know, uh, would you consider yourself to be fat? <sighs> I don't consider myself to be skinny, but I don't, I don't think I'm f I don't, uh, I don't think I'm fat. I don't. Huh, that's a weird question. For my height, I'm like normal weight, so... Eh, not really. Would you say that you have lots of charisma? <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna say no to that one. No. <laughs> um, I'm pretty good, I feel like I, I talk pretty well on stream, or I got better at it. And I have fun with my friends. But after being quarantined for about two and a half years, is that the first time I've ever heard anyone say I don't think I'm fat? Well, I have medical issues that that kind of caused my body to change in the last like six years, and that's kind of uncontrollable. And I do try to work out when I can. Again, medical issues have sometimes caused it to be a problem, but. Um, no, for my weight, uh, for my weight, for my height, for my circumstances, I don't consider myself fat. Um, and we stand. <laughs> Thank you. I just, you know, for a 27 year old that ha doesn't go outside unless necessary, I don't consider myself fat. Good spin art. Good job. Um, oh, right. Uh, do I do have lots of charisma. I honestly, if I have to approach new people or if I have to get on a phone call, I, this is hard. This is because is charisma the ability to talk to people, or like I have anxiety if I have to make a phone call nowadays, just a little bit. If I have to, uh, you know, I went to a Christmas party full of people I didn't know, and it was very hard to talk to people. Does that mean I don't have charisma? Once I do start talking to someone, it's it's okay, but I I don't think I do. Like, my first instinct was no, so. Have you ever wished you could be temporarily frozen? <laughs> like a cryostasis? Like, time passes you by? See, like, I might have wanted to been frozen uh, when I was younger. But given I've developed said medical issues, no. Like, I'm going to deal with them here and now. I don't want to deal with them in the future, so. <clears throat> all right. This is all very interesting. Did you realize that the last letter of the previous five questions, when you put together, spelled the name Satan? No, I was too distracted. <laughs> um, does that make you uncomfortable? Not really. Ambia, like, like ominous. Uh, uh, what's the word? Ominous music aside, this is a video game. I don't think it makes me uncomfortable. Are you good at finding hidden puzzles or clues? 
I want to say yes, but I don't know if I have proof of that. I, I don't know if I have proof of that. Um... I enjoy them. I don't think I'm good at them. Are you now wondering what other hidden messages are placed within these questions? If I'm honest, yeah. Have you been entirely honest with your answers thus far? How do I answer this? One of my questions I accidentally answered wrong. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm going to say I did because I intended to an answer it honestly. I was honest when I was trying to answer. Um... We're learning a lot about celery. That's what's so interesting about this game. Like, you weirdly learn a lot about the person playing it. That's why, like, after this, I would love to see other people play it. Um, and, and see what happens, you know? You get a side to the psyche you don't expect. Um, yes. Are you afraid of the consequences for answering questions dishonestly? No. Were you aware that there could be potential consequences for... <laughs> no, I really didn't know that. <laughs> it counts as honesty. Okay, it was an honest mistake. Thank you, Victory. Are you wondering how these questions began to take a strange turn? No. Would you consider yourself captivated? Yes. Very interesting. Would you consider yourself to be brave? <sighs> yeah. Even when I have anxiety to face something, I still push myself through it. It's like things have to be done or um, someone I care about is on the line. Um, I, yeah, I push myself past it. Um, do you view yourself as someone with above average intelligence? I mean, what's above average? I wish I had an example for this one. You can be brave as in, like, save someone from a fire. I would definitely try. If I looked inside of a, a burning building and I saw a path to try to save someone, yeah, I'm, I'm not kidding. I would do it. I've had dreams where, like, my baby bro is in danger and I don't give a fuck, you know, if I don't know where he is yet, or if I don't even know what's, you know, what's happening to him. I don't know if I'm going to put myself in danger. It doesn't matter. Like, I'm, I'm going to go find him. Um, uh, that's, you could be unreasonable to step before someone who's pointed a gun on, uh, what? That's unreasonable not to be brave. I guess it depends on the situation if somebody points a gun at me. Um... I don't know. I want to say, yeah, I'm smarter than the average person, but I, I don't really have statistics. Have you been looking for hidden messages? No, I'm bad at this. Are you wondering which hidden messages you may have missed? Yes. Have you begun to wonder how long this test will take or how many questions exist in this session? Not really. Would you consider yourself to be a patient person? I do my best. But I think the fact that even if I don't bother somebody about something, if I if it still comes up in my up in my head, like, oh, they haven't gotten back to me. Uh, I, I I don't I don't know how to plan my weekend unless they say something. Like I, I feel like that is a part of being impatient. So I exercise being patient. But I don't think my brain is actually patient. She's not mad, Pat. Obviously, she isn't looking for hidden messages. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, I would say patience is resisting that urge to act on... Oh, well, shit. Well, with how... I mean, you can interpret it however you want. That's how the game goes. But, um... Anyway. Uh, do most humans annoy you? Great question. I have a lot of 
good friends. Um, half of them annoy me, but I still love them. <sighs> but whenever I think of people that I hear about on the internet or in the world, politics, God forbid, humans annoy the shit out of me. I think that's why I relish um, friends and people that I'm, even people I'm, I'm able to have a good conversation with, like you guys. I, I, I'm very happy and I am thankful that you are a person I can talk to and joke with and chill out with. That's the reason for this whole channel. And that is why humans annoy me. <laughs> Most humans annoy me. And that's why I, I cherish, like, the people that don't. Do you prefer animals to people? I don't interact with many animals, unfortunately, so I can't say that. Do you believe in magic? I really want to. I really want to. My mind, when it disappears into video games or my imagination, is separate from reality though. In my brain, there are two very different worlds. When I play a game, when I stream, when I I don't know, when I get involved in a book series or something that's a very different, like I just immediately separate that from reality and if this is talking about magic and reality I don't think there's any I really don't I really wish it existed but it doesn't. I really don't think it does Do you believe in God or the existence of some form of higher power? If I'm honest with myself, yes. I am annoying. I am one of the most annoying person <laughs> you could... You're not, trust me. I've got a list. Not a hit list, but a list. Do you fear death? Yes. I do. Every time a medical condition comes up, I, I, I think of the worst scenarios, so... Are you attracted to someone whom you're not currently in a row? No. Did you answer that last question? Yeah. <laughs> Are you alone? You're gonna have to tell me if this counts. Seth is in the apartment. He's in like the living room. But I'm alone in the computer room. Does that count as being alone? I have a list, <laughs> yeah. You're not alone. You don't you don't consider that alone? I don't think- I don't think I'm alone. I mean, you guys are here as well. Yeah, yeah, that- yeah. If I told you with utmost certainty that there's something watching you, would you believe me? No, because I use a VTubing avatar. <laughs> I don't use a cam. Have you wondered who I am? It's called it's called cat. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what the fuck? This is getting intense. Yeah, isn't it interesting? Um <laughs> Have you wondered who I am? Yes, actually. Cuz I don't even know who's talking. Could be the teddy bear for all I know. Have you had shivers at any point during the session? No. Do you feel like you're being watched? Uh, no. I don't count you guys as watching me because you, you don't actually see my face. That's just how I interpret that. Have you considered quitting the session early? Nah. Do you drink water every day? No, but I really should. I, I really try, but it just doesn't happen. After FNAF, I wouldn't be surprised if the fucking Teddy was asking you all that. Do you eat at least once per day, every day? Yeah. Do you realize that there's a high probability that you've missed a plethora of hidden messages? Yes, I'm just really bad at catching your secrets. Hydration is important. It is, but hold on, I gotta drink my coffee. Um, I try to drink water every day, but 
I, I don't know. Uh, oh, sorry. Are you wondering what they are? Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of wondering. Would it bother you to never know without finding them yourself? No. Is your favorite number seven? No, it's 14. And 23. Um, life is short, but it's the longest thing we'll ever do. Do you agree? Huh. I guess that depends on if you believe in the afterlife. And if you do, um, especially in terms of Christianity, uh, at least from what I know, time, time to them is just all one thing. Like it's like everything is happening at once. I, I'm going to agree that's the longest thing we'll ever do. I'm just going to agree with that. I don't think... Because we're talking about life, not afterlife. Oranges cannot be compared to apples. Do you agree? Yeah. I... No. Venus is sometimes referred to as the morning star. Did you know that? Yes. It's just I kept getting it mixed up with something else some other fun fact I knew, but I did know Venus was the morning star. Everyone deserves a second chance. Do you agree? <sighs> it's starting to form a message? Okay. Um, despite me admitting to trust issues, mostly to people who have already wronged me, keep that in mind, I do believe everyone deserves a second chance. Even if I'm going to be wary of you from then on, I am I am going to give you a second chance. You can do anything you put your mind to. Do you agree? Hmm. That's a hard one. I want to say yes. Let, let me just say, before two years ago, I was... I had the mind of an anime protagonist. I literally just wanted to do everything. Nothing could stop me. I still want to be that way. But so many things happened in the last two years. Um, whew, um, I think that there are a lot of outside factors that can really affect the things you want to accomplish. There are so many things. Can You can do anything you put your mind to. You know what? I think you can. It's just a lot of outside factors. If you have the high enough willpower, then you will eventually reach it, but there's a lot of things that will slow your progress. You just have to hope that it doesn't stop you. Obedience is more important than freedom. Oh, dear. Is this a callback to Dragon Age? <laughs> um, um, I, Spinner, I understand that feeling. That's why I struggled with that question. I think you can eventually, but you have to keep pushing for a long time in, in certain things. But that just means I believe it is eventually possible. Um... or freedom. I mean, I don't... This is hard to think of the context. My brain went to Dragon Age. Um, like Dragon Age mages. Do they submit themselves to the circle to obey and keep themselves safe? Or do they want their freedom? Because Templars are evil sometimes. I'm gonna say no. Underwater adventures sound like a fun time. No. Did you realize that the first letters of the previous eight questions spell the phrase, I love you? No, but I really appreciate that. Do you wish to be loved? I mean, 
I am loved. So does that mean I wish to be loved? I think if I'm already loved, that means I don't I don't wish to be loved. That's how I'm reading that. Have you ever felt hated? Yeah, I have. Do you have any addictions? Um Uh I don't think so. No. I don't think so. I would say coffee, but believe it or not, I have like accidentally gone like a full day or two without coffee by act like I just didn't think about it like during a weekend once and I just didn't have coffee. Now I will get headaches and I won't realize it's because I haven't had coffee. <laughs> but the fact that I don't think about it every, every single day, no. Do you dislike the color pink? I used to. I used to hate it. Now, I really dig dusty pink. Like, dusty rose pink is kind of a dope color. Does the color gray seem depressing? No, I, I choose gray for a lot of things. <laughs> Do you enjoy loud music? Sometimes. Well, yeah, sometimes. Pink is actually my favorite color. Nice! Do you like to dance? I... I don't get the opportunity to dance very often, but it's it's not about that. It's do I like to? Huh. It's a weird one. Uh, yeah, I kind of do. I don't do it often, um, but I, I, I do enjoy it. I'm either doing it by myself or... Um, I'm at my brother's wedding and I've, I've had wine. So, I mean, I'm enjoying myself either way. <laughs> oh, same, Spinark. Actually, at my wedding, I wanted to play orchestra and electro swing. I wanted to play, like, Caravan Palace <laughs> and other shit. I, I, I don't know if you heard. I actually got to see Caravan Palace. Uh, I got to see them at a, a concert recently. That was really cool. Anyway, would you consider yourself no literally normal? I don't think so. Um, I think I come off as normal, but that's because I kind of try. <laughs> I kind of try to remain normal. <laughs> um, I don't think I am, though. Do you love your parents? They're hell to deal with, but I love them very much. I miss them. I think that every single person is different, so there is no normal. That is my other debate. I don't think there is such a thing as normal. Have you ever been lied to? Yes, and it's a fucking pain in the ass. Do you get angry often? Yes, and I'm trying to better myself. I I didn't realize <laughs> that I might have anger issues. But I might have anger issues! <laughs> I work really hard to tone them down, but that just means I, I think I do get angry often. Do you hold grudges? I try not to. I do still give people second chances, but I do hold a grudge. Especially with people who have wronged me. Especially people who wronged me and told me to, to get over it, which has happened before. Instead of, they never apologized for stuff they did. They just told me to get over it. No, 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 you're fine. <laughs> Celery tries so hard to better herself. And I, 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 I do try really hard. Um, have you ever forgiven someone? I have. Have you ever done something that you know you shouldn't have done, but still did it anyway? Have I? Oh, God. Like... <laughs> so... Auntie, I, you know I don't blame you for that, right? Like, Rochi was the one that was technically cheating. <laughs> like, Rochi was trying to cheat, so you decided to cheat back. <laughs> um, oh, Thank you for telling me that I'm strong. 
I'm not gonna... I know I can blame you, but I'm not. Um... Again, why is... No matter when I join, they're here. Well, because I don't... Because I, I don't know Auntie, like, joins when she can. I know Thursday she can't. But, you know, that's, like, work schedules. Anyway, the question at hand. This really sucks. <laughs> uh, there was one time... One time... I stole something. Um, but I was seven years old. <laughs> I did it because I was very curious. I stole... Do you guys remember when, like, gum used to be sold in, like, the little rectangle packs? Like, Double Mint or Spear Mint or Big Red? And they came in, like, little packs. Um, and, and Walmart used to have, like, little, um like tiny plastic kiosks and like each uh, funnel would have um, like different flavors but yeah you could just pick up like a little like four pack of gum and, and it'd be like 50 cents or something um, well I was seven and I was curious my parents told me that you shouldn't steal it's bad that's a bad person thing to do of course but the like, oh, you know, they prevent stealing because, you know, there's a lot of items in the shop that have markers on them so that if you walk through the door and you stole something, the alarm goes off. And seven-year-old me, after a while, was like, they wouldn't really put a sensor on a pack of gum, would they? Um, so I stole it. I never got in trouble, but I came clean to my mom a week later. And I cried about it. And since then, I, I don't think I ever, like, I don't think I ever stole anything since. But I knew I shouldn't have done that, and I, I did. That was a long time to explain that one. Have you ever lied? I have by accident. Does that count? <laughs> Girl stole chewing gum from Walmart. I did. <laughs> Sometimes you want to see if you can steal. Yeah, but if I really cared about that, I would have stolen more in the future and I never did. Why would you get in trouble for 50 cents? Look, seven-year-old me just wanted to know if, if hell would come down on me. The worst thing I've ever done is pretty fucked up. Okay. If you want to confess in Discord, that's fine. Maybe not on stream. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Um, I have lied by accident. Have you ever cheated on a test? No. I like, I know maybe some of you are like, wow, she answers some of these really fast. Is she really thinking about it? But no, I've, I've never cheated on a test. Well, that's reassuring. <laughs> Do you think flowers are more beautiful than trees? Uh, no. Actually, no. Um, this doesn't mean I think trees are more beautiful, but I do... F like, flowers are, like, wonderful for color. I'm a sucker for colors. But trees... You know, they really give you... I don't know. I miss the trees from home. I don't miss the flowers from home, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, everyone. Catholic-style confession time. Oh, no. <laughs> Have you ever wanted to be an animal instead of a person? Ever in my entire life? Yes. I, I've wanted to be... Um... A big cat before. I've wanted to be a bird before. Trees can also have colors. Well, yeah, that's the other thing. Trees during the fall in... In a... You know, the, the east side where, you know, where I was living. That's my favorite. When though... Uh, you know, we, we have a park called Fletcher. And... It's so perfect. It's like a mile or two... And they didn't destroy half of it with roads. <laughs> and, like, during the fall... Oh, it's so beautiful. Anyway. Do you believe you have psychic powers? No, I have anti for that. <laughs> fall is so pretty. Fall is best season. Fight me. Have you ever seen a ghost? Okay, um... This is gonna get personal. I'm gonna need your opinion on this. I don't know if this counts. If you believe a ghost has visited your dreams, like you saw them in your dream, does that count as you've ever seen a ghost? 
I've not, I don't think I've seen a ghost while I was awake. But there's a strong part of me that believes a ghost did visit me while I was dreaming. Does it count if it was in my dream? And if it, and if you think it doesn't, because it's a dream, do you want me to explain why I thought it was a ghost? It doesn't say you had to be awake. That's true. I mean, I can I can briefly explain the dream and like why. Like I could also see, you know, if you have reason to believe it was a spirit, you saw a ghost. Oh, jeez, Spinart. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, um, in the briefest terms, um, and at first I chalked it up to, well, no, at first I definitely thought, you know, I was definitely being visited. And at the same time, I could see it as maybe my brain just really wanted whatever was happening to happen. But... I don't know. There's a big part of me. The fact that I, you know, hesitated on this question means... Definitely means I feel like it was a ghost. Um, it's okay, Spinark. Um, <laughs> this is the kind of thing you, you could freely talk about in Discord, but I'm... I don't know about stream. <laughs> but this is a heavy test. So, you know. Um... About a week or... No, no, it was, it was longer. So... Um, oh god, how do I approach this? I'm trying to think of the quickest way to talk about it, because it's kind of, it kind of sucks. Um, in short terms, um, my mom was pregnant with Zane, uh, my youngest brother, and, um, he was born at the beginning of December. And in September, just before he was born, my grandmother died. And... <sighs> Sorry. Um, but yeah. Uh... Oh, I'm just gonna say yes. Oh, God. Whew. I'm just, uh... Okay, do you dream often? Yes, and it sucks. Do you have nightmares often? What constitutes as often? Uh, you know, half the time, it doesn't bother me to talk about it, but today's a bad day for it. Oh, God. Oh, God, fight it. Woo! I'm not gonna cry. I'm gonna... I'm gonna punch something to keep myself from crying. Oh, God. Okay. The... Oh, God. Oh, God, I'm fine. <laughs> oh, short version. It's just, like, after my brother was born, like, a week after, I had a dream where I was back in a place that I can no longer visit now. Um, it wasn't even her house. It was my great-grandmother's house who was still alive at the time. But she was there, and she was holding him. Whew, I need a moment. Sorry. Okay. Alright. You're right, being an adult sucks. Um No, you didn't you didn't make me talk about it. I have a I have a chronic condition to explain myself. <laughs> So that, you, so that people don't misunderstand, um, or don't know why I kind of select my answers, uh, or like why I'm describing something. But I'm alright. <sighs> Thank you. Uh, also, again, there are days where that wouldn't really bother me anymore. It's just probably a rough day. Okay, um, now about this one, do I have nightmares often? I had one last night. <sighs> But that doesn't mean I have them often. When I do dream, I think 50% of them suck and would constitute as nightmares. Does Would that count as often? 
God, this got way too real. God, fuck it. I, ugh. Whew. Um, yeah, alright. I, I agree. It's probably more often than you want to have nightmares. You can consider many things as nightmares. Okay. Do you suffer from anxiety attacks? I get anxious. Um, I don't think I have attacks. I think I've had one or two in my entire life, but I don't, I don't suffer from it. Um, most adults don't have nightmares outside of tra traumatic times. I have nightmares of things I fear, and, uh, that's usually, like, the fear of losing people I love. And, of course, that's, you know, that's reasonable. Um, I've never had an anxiety attack. I don't think I've had an attack. I just, you know, sometimes I'm paranoid, but I don't think that's an attack. Do you suffer from depression? Honest to God, like, true medical depression? No. I have sad days like everybody. I don't have depression, though. I know too many people that actually suffer from it to say that I that I have it. I don't have it. This is making me question shit, right? <laughs> it's like, $1.99. Go figure out who you are. <laughs> I'll probably link the, or, you know, it's called The Test on Steam, if, if you're interested. Um, God heavy, yeah. Do you exercise often? I was, I, I was, but, um, I have some, like, medical things right now. Like, for the past month, I haven't been able to get correct medicine to help me. Um, so, because of that, I, my body doesn't really feel up to exercising, so... Unfortunately, not as much as I want to. This is making me question my existence. You see why I wanted to play this? There is a test too now. Fuck! What? Well, now I gotta do a follow-up. Is there a particular type of food that you despise? Yes, vegetables. <laughs> Would you consider yourself emotionally wounded? Yes. Um, it took me until a year ago to realize I was in fact traumatized. <laughs> I thought I've, I thought, I thought the fact that I handled some things as a child, like, well, that it didn't traumatize me, but the fact that I can remember a lot of things clearly, and that I have trust issues, that means I'm emotionally wounded. I don't want to play this ever, <laughs> okay? Um, I'm really glad you can exercise. I wish I could. I gotta, I gotta get correct medicine. Um, trauma is weird like that. Yeah, sometimes you don't even realize you've been traumatized until, you know, you talk about it with your significant other, and then you're sitting there like, wow, I've talked about this for two hours, I'm sorry. Have you ever felt betrayed? Yes. Because I, I consider lying and other things as betrayal. Do you ever feel lost in life? <clears throat> I... I don't think so. I, I I think I struggle really hard with like the career part of my life, but that doesn't mean I feel lost. Just because it's been really hard to, to, to try to make it as an artist doesn't mean I question being an artist. And uh, even if it's not about my career, I know who I am. I'm constantly changing, and for the better, I hope. But I don't feel lost. I feel like I'm always looking for a direction, and I will always find it. Cabbage rust! <laughs> I've never had that, but I like it. Uh, every time a question doesn't start with D or H, I get excited for a message. I definitely have been betrayed. Sassy asshole. <laughs> Would you consider yourself a natural leader? Um, surprisingly, yes. I haven't been given many opportunities, but uh, when they did come up, I kind of automatically like, okay, what do we need? What do we got to do? Um, that's why I'm, you know, I try to, I try to plan a lot of my stuff ahead of time. Um, best example of, I guess, when I really felt like a leader, uh, I was section leader in the marching band, and when I was, it was one of the best years of high school. It, it was the best year of high school. 
and I made a lot of friends and all of my um, I guess all of the younger years under us just I, I was thanked more than I expected I was just kind of doing my job um, so according to them I am a natural leader I miss those guys Oh shit, I hate this question. <laughs> I wouldn't consider myself a leader, but I don't follow anyone either. So that's the thing. I think part of being a good leader is knowing when you should be a leader and when you should be a follower. I think being a good follower is just as important. You can't fight it. Um, there are many times where I join a group and I feel like, okay, yeah, I'm going to contribute a lot more if... I am the follower, if I follow the critiques, if I get it in, into this direction instead. Lead me to victory, but I'm already here. <laughs> nice. Um, if you could push a button and destroy the world, would you press it? The world sucks today, but considering I chose that I would not freeze myself, I'm gonna enjoy, I'm gonna enjoy, <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy you know, my life. No matter what state the world is in. I'm gonna do my best. I'm not gonna destroy it. Besides, it's practically self-destructive. <laughs> do you sometimes dream of being a hero? Constantly! I wanna be a hero! I wanna be- <laughs> I wanna- I, I've wanted to be a hero my entire life! I want to be the Inquisitor. I want to be a fucking Super Saiyan. I want to save people. I want to have superpowers. I want to save the day. I want to help people. Anyway, let's calm that down. <sighs> have you ever been bullied? Yeah. Yeah, I have. Have you ever been bullied? Have you ever bullied someone else? Um. I don't think I've ever intentionally bullied anybody. And the people who have told me I have, they were joking. <laughs> so I don't think I've ever bullied someone. I I would never want to. Oh no, oh no, wait. Oh no, fuck, damn it, I just remembered something. <sighs> I wanna be super saiyan. <laughs> I wanna, I wanna, I wanna. Um, I was about to say no, but I remembered something. And unfortunately, I have. Um, oh, God, why is this such a fucking <laughs> real test? And I have to, I, I have to hope that this ends in like 10 minutes. Um, I have, I'm gonna, for people who don't know, I'm gonna stream again. Oh, God, my camera almost fell. Because I was slapping the desk. My bad. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm going to be streaming earlier. I'm going to stream at 5 p.m. Central with Bash. That is when she wants to stream. So I'm trying to give myself an hour of time in between. So I have to kind of make this work. Um, the reason why I, I know I've technically bullied someone. This is again when I was seven. <laughs> I didn't recall this. I actually had no memory of this. My other brother, my other younger brother, um, he had to tell me, uh, years ago, he told me that, like, he, I mean, we're fine now, we're, we're best of friends now, but, um, he used to have it out for me, um, uh, for two reasons, but I'm not gonna get into one of them. But one of them was, apparently, I, I bullied him. I bullied him a lot. Usually over, like, what toys to play with, or... I was mean. And I don't remember any of it. I honestly don't remember it, but... He has no reason to lie to me. Um... But I remember him, like, confessing to me, like, yeah, I... I hated that, like, this happened, and then, like, you just became a completely different person after a certain age and you just could you know and he didn't realize that I forgot that I honestly didn't remember bullying him um so we talked it out I cried I felt horrible I honestly didn't remember doing that but I did bully my brother and I, I hate that I was like that 
Would you consider yourself to be a dreamer? I used to be. Am I still? Yeah. I don't know. I feel like I'm just leaning more towards yes. The little demon guy looks like Dr. Eggman. <laughs> um, yeah, the game has unlocked memories you didn't even know about. It's unlocking memories I forgot that I haven't talked about in years. I teased a friend in middle school and I thought of it as friendly, but looking back, I was doing the same thing a lot of her not friends bullies did. I never did that, but I, yeah, no, I just, I was very young. And I just, I honestly don't remember what I did, but he had to tell me. He had to tell me that, like, I was a complete asshole of a sister and I, I apologize profusely. Do you sometimes hurt people's feelings unintentionally? Um. I don't know. I don't think I would know. I don't think I would know this. Um, unless the person tells me, I don't think I've hurt people. I try really hard to avoid hurting people's feelings. But have I? I don't, I don't think I do. I think I try too hard to be careful around people. Do you find space fascinating? Yeah, terrifying, but fascinating. And yes, I've hurt people's feelings unintentionally. I think everybody does, because you don't, you don't know. Everybody comes from a different background. Would you consider yourself to be an artist? Nah, I mean, yeah, yeah, I did too. Would you consider yourself... This is the question I don't have time to answer. <laughs> um, this depends on what you describe a good friend to be. <sighs> Ever since I moved, like in my head, communication like has a lot to do with friendship. However, after I moved, it has been substantially harder to reach out to them, or even remember to. When I am in the presence of friends, I like to think that I am a good friend and I try to keep their feelings in mind and I want them to have a good time. However, the fact that I'm really bad at communicating, at, at keeping up with them, being a good friend when the circumstances arises, I don't think means you're always a good friend. <sighs> like, I moved, but, like, I, I could have tried harder to, to talk to people. I don't, I don't think I'm a good friend. I, I'm always trying to be a better friend, but that, that just means I think I'm not a good friend. Would you consider yourself to be flawed? Horribly. I mean, okay, not horribly, but like, there's a lot to me I wish I didn't have. Have you ever fantasized about being a supervillain or performing handy- <laughs> Oh my god, um, you can be good or want to be better. A and want to be better. That's the thing, I- I don't think I am. But that is how I interpret the question. Again, any of you can play this game, and it'd be really interesting to hear the results. Absolutely, a good friend is just someone who tries to do the right thing by their friends. Oh. Okay. I just feel like I could do better. There are some friends that, like, I consider my best friends. And I haven't spoken to them in forever. And granted, it's a two-way street, but I still feel bad. That, that's a hard question. We'll just chalk that up to a hard question. I think of you as a good friend. Thank you, Auntie. That means a lot. I will still try to do better, though. <laughs> um. <sighs> uh, no. I've never fantasized about being a supervillain because I've always wanted to be the hero. Do you believe in perfection? I strive for it. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. I, I strive for it and I feel like perfection or like maybe being a really good person. You know what? No, there's no such thing. I was about to say like if you strive for it, that means you think it exists. However, I really don't think there's perfection. That's the same as saying like 
that everyone's that that everyone's normal when no one's normal. I don't I don't think there's perfection. Have you ever stolen from someone? From someone? No. At least not on purpose. I don't think I've I don't recall. I don't think I've stolen from anybody. No. Would you ever kill someone under any circumstances? Yeah. If anybody comes at my brother, if anybody comes at my husband, if anybody comes at me, I'm gonna kill you back. If you had one day to live, would you tell anyone? <sighs> so I would disagree. I agree with that. <laughs> um... That's really hard. I... <sighs> I have to be honest with myself. I know there's a part of me that wants to say that I wouldn't. I don't want someone, I don't want, you know, the people I care about to hurt to know about it, but... If I'm real with myself, I, I'm not good at keeping secrets. I'm not good at lying. Um, and my face definitely reflects how I'm feeling. And if I found out I had one day to live, like, someone's gonna ask, you know, what's wrong? I would just, um... I know that I would, because I would eventually break. But, man, it would suck. Have you ever told anybody your darkest secrets? Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, my best friend, Jess, uh, and Seth. Seth more recently, of course. I mean, within the last few years. He, he knows. He knows about stuff that I somehow have not talked about on stream and that I'm never going to. Whew, they show off a side of you mean, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is a struggle. I've told one guy my darkest secrets. If I had one day to live, I would tell people to enjoy my final moments on Earth. But at the same time, I have a feeling nobody would notice if I... No. That's the thing. Like, I know I... I have a lot of people I care about. I know they care about me. Uh, man, it'd be so hard. Uh, do you trust me even though you know nothing about me? No. Well, no. <laughs> Do you know who I am? No, I still think you might be the teddy bear. <laughs> well, I know who you are. Are we at the end? Oh, if I appeared behind you right now, would you scream? Yes, because things kind of suddenly <laughs> appearing right in my face scare me. The imposter. <laughs> I've been betrayed, so I probably won't. Yeah. If I told you that I might have I'm bleh if I told you that I've been behind you this entire time, would that scare you? No, you're full of shit. Of course not. That would be silly, now wouldn't it? Pardon me while I turn around. Nope, still an air conditioner and a and a bookcase. I'm good. Would you consider yourself to be empathetic? Uh give me a second. I... I don't... Uh, I gotta remember the definition. The ability to understand and share the feelings of another. I know that I... try really hard... to understand. Even if I've never experienced it, I try to understand that like well somebody might feel this way because like something bad happened in their life would that be considered empathetic oh there's probably a vent under my bookcase you know what you know what <laughs> I don't know oh no wait the vents where is the vent in this freaking room well now I don't know 
Would you consider yourself to be able to- I have to go through these quick if, if it doesn't end soon. <laughs> um, if I try- I want to say yes. I'm going to say yes. I want to leave because it's making me question a lot of things. Right, but we might be at the end soon. Uh, would you consider yourself to be romantic? Um, how would you describe this? I've been, I've been told by other people, not Seth, I promise you, um, that I'm not romantic per se. There are some things that are typically romantic that I enjoy. Like, I don't know, I just kind of naturally enjoy flowers. Like, that's fun. Um, I like taking the time to, um, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I also don't know if this means romantic or romantic. Like, I don't know if that... I'm gonna say no. Yeah, I'm gonna say no. Have you ever been in a physical fight? I tried. <sighs> My dad gave me one rule growing up. Never start a fight, but always be ready to finish it. So, once in middle school and once in high school, I was being bullied. And I immediately confronted them, and I told them to swing a punch at me. Because if they throw the first punch, I can fight back. Bitches never did it. I was very frustrated. <sighs> so no. Uh, I, I, I uh, always wanted to be in a physical fight. <laughs> But they backed out. Are you prone to headaches or migraines? Yes. Do you look at the ground when you walk? Not really. Hit me, bitch! Not like that. that was literally me, like, growing up. And even maybe today. I don't know. Less so today. I just... I just really wanted to fight. I was scrawny. And I was quiet. I was the artist. And, and like, a lot of people, like... I don't know. It's kind of easy to walk on. So at a certain point, I was just like, well that, and I heard my brother was getting into fights, but he was a dude, like, and he was kind of a big guy. And I felt, I hated that. And so I was like, well, is nobody gonna pick a fight with me? Cause I'm a girl, like that's bullshit. So <sighs> there was a guy once who bullied me and there was a girl once who bullied me. And I was, I, oh my God, I, I wanted that girl to punch me so badly. And she just walked away. She said, that was the first time somebody cussed at me, too. Like, she walked up to me across the, wherever the hell we were, the gym or something, and was just like, she was mad at me because I was friends with somebody and I told her to back off. I was basically guarding a friend. And I was scrawny. I was like 110 pounds wet. Like, <laughs> and she went up to me, and she, she looked like a really shitty Avril Lavigne. And she walked up to me and was just like, I'm gonna... I, I think she said, like, I'm going to beat the hell out of you, or I'm going to beat the shit out of you or something. And I stopped. Well, keep in mind, I was really skinny. I was kind of short. I didn't weigh much. And I had glasses. And I turn around immediately when she says that, and I said, okay, throw the first punch. She did not expect that. She did not say anything, and walked away. <laughs> um... I don't think she was expecting me to do that, so she just kind of walked away. But anyway, no, I don't look at the ground as I walk. Are you attracted to the opposite sex? Yes. Would you ever shave your head? Yeah. I'm not going to, but I would. <laughs> Are you attracted to muscular bodies? Uh, no. Well, technically, yes. Oh, fuck, I fucked that up. I was thinking of Seth, but, like, technically I can be attracted to muscular characters. Does that count? Shit. Fuck. Uh, do you ever dance when no one is looking? Yes. Do you trust your best friend entirely? Well, my best... I, gu I guess if I can consider my husband to be my best friend, yes. I trust Seth with everything. Do you remember your child... How many questions are there? Fucking... <laughs> A whole, I wholeheartedly trust my best friend. That's good. You do love muscular men. I know, I fucked up. I didn't think that one through. Do you remember your childhood extremely well? 
I want to say yes, I remember a lot of memories. But I didn't remember anything to do with my brother. Like, the, the bad stuff, so I don't know. I'm gonna say yes, because I can recall things even from kindergarten. You can be attracted to muscular men even if you're not only attracted to muscular men. I should, that's what, that's what hit me later. I was like, damn it, I, there's a lot of body types. Uh, would you rob a bank if you could get away with it? Nope, painfully lawful good. Do you ever dream about running from a killer? Yes. Do you ever dream about falling off a cliff? No. I can recall my dreams uh, very well, so I, I can answer these quickly. Do you ever dream about being naked in public? Yes, it's weird. Do you enjoy scary movies or books? No, even though I enjoy watching YouTubers play scary movie or uh, video games, I normally don't play them, and I don't like movies or books. Do you enjoy comedic televisions or shows? Yeah, Vox Machina. Do you like being the center of attention? No. And my prime example is when I had to get married, I hated being the center of attention. Like, as soon as I had to walk through those doors, I was totally comfortable with Seth. Like, that was, you know, the comfortable part of the whole ordeal. But, <laughs> but walking in and having a lot of eyes on me, <laughs> I, no, I, I was very, very nervous had to get married. Well, you know what I mean. Like, I had to have a ceremony. Literally wasn't allowed to not have a ceremony. Um, so no, I don't like that. Do you feel like something is always watching you? No. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to go to space? Not in a good way. I have imagined going into space, and it feels terrifying. Shotgun wedding. My parents were gonna kill me if I did anything remotely like that, so I had I had to do a wedding. Um, do I need to wait? Did Seth force you to marry him? No, I forced Seth to marry me. <laughs> uh, just kidding, just kidding. Seriously, like being able to talk to each other from time to time was the most relaxed I felt trying to get that wedding under. Ugh. Have you ever had an out of body experience? I don't take. I don't take drugs or, or I don't I've never done this kind of thing, no. Have you ever punched a nun? No. I don't know why I hesitated. Do you like dogs better than cats? No, I love cats. Do you prefer to read more than you prefer to watch movies? Sadly, no. Are you still wondering why I asked if you pu ever punched a nun? Honestly, no, cuz you you've asked me other questions. Do you get starstruck easily? Do I? I met Cinnamon Toast Ken once, by accident. I wasn't starstruck, though. I'm gonna say no. I don't think so. Have you ever punched a nun? <laughs> Do you hate going to big parties and social gatherings? I'm usually nervous for, like, the first half of a party. But usually, I have found at least one or two people that I can talk to. I don't think I hate them. I know a lot of people would hate that. Whew. I would not be able to point out Cinema Toast Ken, even if he was the only person in the room. Okay, the only reason I knew it was Cinema Toast Ken is because, um... Well, I thought it was going to be super cool to meet him. Uh, I had a friend named Jesse, a guy, back in high school. Um... He was he was easily starstruck. He was already trying to start a YouTube channel. Um but he's one of those like very biased people. I mean, I haven't spoken to him since high school, so it's been a while. But yeah, I mean, Sinotos Ken is a nice dude. Like I've seen his stuff. And I was like, "Ooh, it's going to be cool to really meet this guy. Like he seems like a nice guy." Kind of like how I used to be like, "Man, I think it'd be cool to just like go out to lunch with Jack Septiguy. Like just go get some Taco Bell and just talk for like an hour and then and go our separate ways. But that's not being starstruck, I don't think. Um, let's see. Uh, oh yeah, like, sorry, that friend. He was so starstruck. He, like, he basically hunted down Cinnamon Toast Ken 
like he really wanted content for his channel and so when we were like Jesse we're your friends we we came to this convention to meet up with you and he's like okay guys I'm going to I, and I and I found I found Ken I'm gonna bring him over so he brought him over and I tried to like have a normal greeting and like conversation with the dude but Jesse was just acting real weird about him he was acting like he was a fucking saint and like talking about him like yeah we're basically best bros and we're gonna be doing this and then we're, we're thinking about collabing on this game and I'm like I literally can't get three words into, in, in with ten, Cinnamon Toast Ken like I no longer give a shit <laughs> about this encounter because you're kind of overwhelming it so yeah that was the time I met Cinnamon Toast Ken he does seem like a nice dude you have connections with two serial killers fuck Ooh, give me a lunch date with the Game Grumps, too. I want that. Is your favorite part of your birthday receiving presents? Nope. Seriously, though, have you ever punched a nun? Like, really? Just bam. Right in the face. Nun punch. <laughs> no. Did you laugh? Yeah. Did you say, what the fuck, in your head or even aloud? No, actually. Are you now eager to somehow get the opportunity to punch a nun? No, I can't imagine a nun would ever do me wrong. <laughs> so I probably wouldn't punch him. If there's a hell, do you think you're going to it? Oh my god. This isn't even about your beliefs. This is like, if hell exists, do you think you're going to it? Academically speaking, based on the knowledge of the Bible and the things that I believe in, <sighs> that's an uncomfortable question. <laughs> Lawful good, so probably not. It's actually weird because my relationship to Christianity is odd. It's, it's a huge question mark. Um, I grew up with it, but that doesn't mean much. It used to be a very comfortable space, and at some point growing up, it, it wasn't. And it was mostly the churches. So, um, if there's a hell, am I going to it? Like, this, is, this, this depends on what you think. If you think good people don't go to hell, I want to think that I'm a good person. However, according to the Bible, according to the knowledge that I can recall, we can see the future. okay, that was poorly timed. <laughs> <sighs> so, actually, yes, Auntie, I know somebody who like academically studies religions. Uh, <laughs> but I don't think I've done bad things. But according to what the Bible defines as bad I am and I have to kind of go off of that that sucks but you know do you enjoy fantasy fiction games you bet you're sweet bippy okay all right <laughs> I'm being a hundred percent honest no matter how uncomfortable this makes me <laughs> No. Are you wondering what constitutes frequently? No, I have a good idea. Be by your sweet bippy. <laughs> Are you more than slightly uncomfortable right now? No, I'm, I'm only slightly uncomfortable. <laughs> Is your mouth dry? Um. No. I'm checking. <laughs> Does profanity make you uncomfortable? It used to when I was in high school. But no. Do you believe in legendary beasts such as Loch Ness Monster and Bigfoot? I wish they were real, but that doesn't mean I think they're real. Are you poor with money management? No, I'm very frugal. Choose one of these numbers that you feel resonates with- What? Why did you put 69? You fucking know what you did. Choose one of the numbers that you feel resonates with, most with you in this very moment. 21. I don't know. It just does. Choose one of these colors that you feel resonates with you most. Oh, okay. Um. Uh, 
my bread. <laughs> Thank you for 69 in the stock market. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, because good person, but no belief. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I mean, again, if you were raised in, like, a Christian family, they tell you straight up, being a good person is not going to get you to heaven. And that is why I could not answer that, like, as no. Anyway, uh, choose one of these words that you feel resonates with you this very moment. Wicked, sick, plagued, wretched, toxic, vile. Okay. I, c I just kind of like the sound of the word vile. Uh, choose one of these words that you feel resonates with you most in this very moment. Um. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm actually kind of stuck. Because angelic and celestial. I like those. I kind of like... I think I'll go with celestial. Choose one of the words... Oh my god, okay. Um... Luck, skill, strength, the Okay, so D&D &D stats? See, we learn about religion, Christianity, but not like the details in the Bible and stuff, just how it came to be and such. Yeah, um, well, if you learn more and more about the Bible... It's like built to make you uncomfortable. <laughs> or maybe, maybe that's just, maybe it's because I'm a bad person. I don't, I don't know. Anyway. Um... I'm gonna say strength. Do you enjoy solving mathematical puzzles? No. Do you speak more than one language fluently? Not yet. I'm, I'm only like partially fluent in Japanese. Have you ever visited a country other than your own? Yes, I visited uh, the UK. And I'm about to visit Ireland at the beginning of April. Do you enjoy coffee? Fuck yeah. Do you believe in demons? No. Do you believe in angels? <sighs> I wish angels were real, but... <sighs> like, if I don't believe in demons, I don't believe in angels. And it might just be because I am stuck to the context of the Bible, but... Yeah, you can't have one without the other. That'd be kind of weird. Are you afraid of sharks? Not really. Do you prefer baths over showers? I kind of 50-50 those, but I'll say yes. Does the smell of perfume or cologne give you headaches? No, I like Bath and Body Works. Do you see a shadow move in your room if you... <laughs> well, I didn't see it a moment ago. <laughs> That's fortunate. Do you ever hear your name being called, even when you know no one is calling it? Oh, like auditorial, auditorial hallucinations? No. I have heard auditorial hallucinations, but not my name. And they're rare anyway, so. Do things in your home often go missing and then reappear? Yeah, because... <laughs> Seth and I are both terrible at, like, putting things in a different area by accident. I'm an atheist. I wish I would believe in religion, but I can't because there's no proof in my book. I, I understand. Totally. Does anybody have exploding head syndrome when you sleep? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Do you ever hear footsteps around you when you're alone? Yes, but that's because I'm in an apartment. <laughs> I'm on the third floor. I hear people underneath me. Do you ever hear random knocking noises? Yes, because I have neighbors. Do you often look at the same time on the clock every day? Um, every day? No. Have you ever felt your feet being grabbed at night? No, my feet just freeze into icicles. Do you have any pets? No, and it's sad. Is your favorite color green? Technically, no, but it is tied. Wait, auditory hallucinations are rare? I have them all the time. Well, I don't know. Because I, I hear a lot of people... I think it's common, but I, I don't have them often. 
I've heard like random things across the house and then I'm like, wait, no, nothing happened. I'm gonna have to roll right into the next stream if this doesn't clear up. Are you attracted to a fat f uh, No. If you won the lottery, would you share the money with anyone? Yeah, of course. Um, I've always told myself, if I won the lottery, and this is like, if I won like, like five million dollars, um, I think one million would just stick with me and Seth, just kind of get rid of our student loans and then like save up for a house. Legit. Uh, and then I, I don't know, like the rest of it is either saved or, um, I'd probably hand like, I'd, I'd hand a million to like my parents for sure. Maybe a million to my brother now that he's married and out of the house. This is making me look around my room. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've always thought like, yeah, if I even even if I won three million, like that's how I would split it. Like one one million for me and me and Seth, one million for my brother and his now wife, uh, and then one million for like my parents. And just pray to God that my mom is not so bad with money that <laughs> that it gets blown out. Um, yeah. If you could be the dictator of your own country, would you ex No! I don't want that responsibility. Do you ever wonder what it would like to be in prison? No, because when I imagine it, there are no good outcomes. Do you like fishing? I've never gone fishing. I can't say I like it. Do you like hunting? I don't- I've never hunted either. I like hunting in games. Does that count? Like, right now I'm playing Dragon Age Inquisition in my spare time, and I've been hunting down, like, different animals for pelts. Does that count as enjoying it? <laughs> you know what? I don't enjoy it. It's a necessity. Whatever. Do you like camping? I did it once with my ex, and it was horrible. Do you ever wonder what it feels like to break your leg? <laughs> I've broken my big toe before. Do you like guns? Um, I mean, I'm not against them, but, <laughs> uh, in Call of Duty, hell no. In real life, yeah, I like it. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant guns. <laughs> um, like, guns are very interesting to me. But I don't like them so much that I go look at them. My dad loves guns. Are you getting tired of answering questions? Not really. It's just that I'm on a time crunch and I didn't think this was going to take that long. Uh, would you consider yourself to be kinky? No. Eyes are the window to the soul. Do you agree? What, like I look into somebody's eyes and I can tell if they're shifty or not or something? That's an interesting question. Hunting games don't count? Okay. Uh, me and my friend made a deal that if neither of us had broken our leg, we would break each other's legs because we needed to know what it felt like. Good luck! <laughs> um... I don't know. I think eyes are the most beautiful thing on a human being. But I don't know if I would call them the window to the soul. No. I think they're gorgeous. Um, I, I just don't think... I just don't think they're the window to the soul. Okay. Do you always keep your promises? Does this count if, like... Like, you promised, but something out of your control literally stopped you from fulfilling it. I know at least once or twice I promised my little brother something, and then, like, that store was closed, or it starts storming and I can't do it. Does that count? I think the personality is the most beautiful thing. Touché. Uh, does it count if you always, like, try to keep your promises? Or is this like, you always keep your promises? Like, I think it's hard. You think it counts as, like, I keep my promises? 
I have to wrap this up. I have 30 minutes until my next stream. I'm playing Monster Camp again with Bash, if anybody, you know, uh, wants to see that. We'll probably That'll probably be a short stream as well, though, if you try. Then, yes. Would you ever completely trust someone who's like, no. Are you an only child? No. Do you ever enjoy being drunk? No. Being buzzed, but not drunk. Do you like tattoos? Objectively, yes. Uh, I wouldn't want them on me, but... I've thought about what I would get as a tattoo, but I'm so indecisive. I'm, I'm like, I could never put anything on my body, because I would want to change it, and I can't. Do you enjoy being high in any form? I don't... I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I've ever been high. I don't think I've ever been high. I've taken oxycodone, which like relaxes you. Does does that is that being high? That's not being high. I've never been high. Never mind. <laughs> Drugs are scary. Do you believe you have a soul? Yeah. I'm just the afterlife. They like if you have a soul, then that means you believe in some form of an afterlife. And that's the part I... I don't know. I think I have a soul. Did you cry this week? <laughs> Fucking damn it. <laughs> uh, are you upset with someone right now? Yes, but we don't have to get into it. Is there someone you're not being completely honest with daily? No. Do you understand how this works yet? No. <laughs> If you answer the questions if you answer the questions twice, your truths may change. It's not just about answering the questions, it's about the time you spend answering them and the combination you answer them in. It's about many different variables you'd never guess. Do you understand? Oh, a little better now, yes. This stream is personal as shit. That's okay, you have a good day. Um, I'll probably just, I'll be chilling with, I mean, well, when Bash is around, I can't chill. <laughs> if you look at the table, the left chandelier is on top, but the book and, and the right, oh. What? Okay. Are you wondering if the end of the test is coming soon based on the previous question you just answered? Kinda. If I were to tell you that this entire process was pl planted here for you, specifically you, to learn something about yourself, and anyone else that that bothers using this is just a byproduct of its intention. Would you believe that? I I would not. I think this game was planted to help everyone. To soul search everyone individually. Are you afraid of being abandoned? Um, I'm trying to think of how this question is phrased. Like, am I actively afraid that someone's gonna leave me? No. I don't think anybody- I don't think- yeah. Are you afraid of dying alone? Yeah. Do you worry that one day you'll unexpected- yes! <sighs> I think of the stupidest shit. I stress myself out for no reason. Are you always on guard, waiting to fend off an attack? I don't know if I'm always on guard. Um, sometimes I think, like, I wonder what would happen if, like, someone bashed into the apartment. Like, I don't know if I would be ready for the attack, but I do think about it. That doesn't mean I'm on guard, though. Do you feel like I know you yet? No, I think there's more you could have asked. Have you heard any strange noises while answering these questions? Yes. I think we have enough, infor enough information about you. Whether you skipped questions, answered honestly or dishonestly, took loads of time to respond, or answered quickly without reading or understanding properly, I've been able to tell. I'm calculating your results. I'm analyzing you very carefully. I'm judging you. I've got the chat for that, but thanks. <laughs> Based on what you've told me, this is what I can conclude. Oh, we're, we're at the end. 
people would do real well to start taking you a bit more seriously and listen to you a lot more often. <laughs> okay. Your intelligence is incredibly underrated, even by your own standards. If a zombie apocalypse were to ever occur, you'd be everyone's best friend because their relationship with you wouldn't be an option. <laughs> it would simply be a necessity to survive. Really? Well, I can't argue it. You have so much to offer this world and those around you, but you absolutely must make your talents and knowledge readily available. People are often too afraid to ask you for your opinion at times. Even when they do, they're afraid of your truths. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> You're not like others. You're special. Not everyone is going to cut it in this life, and that's an unfortunate fact. But you. Now you, on the other hand, are going to thrive no matter what happens. You've got what it takes to take any project to the next level. Whether it's working on your own, or as part of a team. That's what I was talking about earlier. That you gotta know when to lead and when to be a follower. What the fuck?! You're underrated. You're underappreciated. And you're often misunderstood. It's not fair. <laughs> but life isn't fair, and it never will be. <laughs> What? Life will always be what you make it, and you've got some insane amounts of potential. Ultimately, it's still up to you, but what you decide to do with it. Oh, sorry, it's still up to you to decide what to do with it. One thing I will say, however, is that you need to snap out of the false reality that you tend to live in sometimes. The world you manage to escape to in your head, while much better than the world around you, <laughs> is not going to get anywhere in life. It's not going to get you anywhere in life. Actions are what makes things happen. Actions will take you to the next level, not just sitting in your head all day long. Let this be a swift kicked in the ass you need to be productive and take things to the next level. <laughs> Don't waste any more time. Just kick ass and allow yourself the successful life you deserve. What the f Fuck! <laughs> Your secret word is order. Remember this word. This will come in handy. My word is order? I, I know that everybody gets a word, and so far... Okay, so my word is order. Oh my god! <laughs> Uh, like, I knew it was gonna be, like, really substantial, but I didn't realize it was gonna... <sighs> Don't cry over that! Fucking tough it up! Okay, so... Um, that was... Like, they hit... Way more... Way more truthful things than I expected? Holy fuck! Take the secret word that was assigned to you at the end of your session and leave it in the comment for us. We will be selecting some of you based on your answers to be included in a future project we're working on. Don't be afraid. This is an opportunity for you to be part of history. This is a chance for you to be a part of something greater. Be sure to note your secret word in your comments. If you do not wish to be a part of the upcoming project, simply leave your secret word out of your comments and we will not select your name. We appreciate any and all comments you leave. We will always read them thoroughly. Thank you for taking the time to answer these questions. I know they've been some help to you. And if they aren't yet, it will make sense very soon. Trust me on that. You can find the test Hypothesis Rising, the test Final Revelation, and the Testing Chamber on Steam if you enjoy this installment. You can also find the Journey series and the Advisor series, which we encourage everyone to try. If you'd like to support us further or try other games, you can find a link to all of our titles 
on the title screen of this game under the section Our Other Games. Thank you so much for your support. We appreciate you. <laughs> okay, first. What? <laughs> Second? <laughs> Hi, Philly. I just realized you're here. I... Holy fuck. I... I didn't expect it to expose me this much. Um... <laughs> I, like, I knew that there was a chance that it was gonna get really personal, and it's, you know, and if it does, like, it's gonna be in front of you guys. But I was willing to risk it. I wanted to know, and I thought it was really interesting. Um, yeah, the, the, the parts it said at the beginning, where it was like, people would do well to listen to you, I... There are many times where I feel like I want to help, and 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 like there, there's been a lot of times where people kind of brush it off. Okay. Okay. First. <laughs> what? Second. <laughs> <laughs> like there, there's been a, times, a lot of times where like I want to help, and or like at the very least I wanted to be taken seriously, and there were times. And I fought with it, like, a lot, that I wasn't, you know? And I never understood why, because I, 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 I just don't. <sighs> I don't like lying. I can't bring myself to do it. When I offer my opinion or something, like, I give room for, like, doubt. Like, you know, I really like this and I suggest it, but, um, you know... I like it, so like check it out if you want to, if you're interested. Like that's how far I go with like trying to make sure that I don't, that I that I'm not misunderstood, that I don't accidentally lie to someone. But I have been, you know, completely disregarded in the past. There have been times where, like, you know, I've had there's someone in particular my whole life, and I don't want to I don't want to you know bring them out. But, like, there's someone right now, like, my entire life, I've always been on their side. We've always thought alike. We've always, you know, understood each other better than anyone else. But, like, in the last couple years, like, something changed. And when I would try to, like, offer opinions or, like, maybe we should be more open-minded about this, they just, they flat out, like, rejected it. Or said, like, oh, okay, I guess you're just one of them. Instead of taking in the fact that I have been the same person. Okay, sorry, that's that's a very personal thing. Um, but, yeah, I just wasn't expecting the game to say, like, hey, people should listen to you. Because, at the very least, like, they should take you seriously. Because you're, you're doing your best to fucking be honest. It sucks when you try so hard to be honest, and then, like, you know, person's like, yeah, yeah, what the fuck ever, like, it's you. And it's like, what does that mean? What about me makes you want to disregard my, ugh, it's like. And, of course, I'm talking about, like, more serious decisions. But, yeah, that's why I over-explain myself all the time. I've been, I've had my decisions be me, you know, be misunderstood. I've had my decisions be rejected, or like, oh, well, you're, you're, you're prone to this, so, like, I'm just gonna, you know, pretend you didn't say that. And it's just it's so fucking annoying. Okay. Anyway. Ooh. So, that's the test. Uh, even if you don't plan on streaming it, because I know we have some streamers in the chat, um, I kind of suggest people to do this game, even if it's a little uncomfortable. I... <laughs> I had to know, you know? I had to know how accurate and how creepy, like, how close it really got to me. And no, like, the questions aren't the same every time. Some of them are, but not all of them. And the results and the words are apparently not the same either. I think if you like to do a deep dive, if you think, like, you know, ultimately this might help you, like, I say do it. 
It's a dollar ninety nine, and this was like one of the most interesting experiences I've ever done. And yes, I'll uh, I'll probably cry off stream. It's fine. I've got fifteen minutes to cry off stream, and then I'll be back to stream <laughs> for something completely different. But uh, thank you for sharing this ride. I know we're fairly new friends, but I appreciate you all the more for all. No, don't say that. I'm going to cry again. Ah! I mean, I never cried. I didn't cry during this test. Oh, fuck all of you. <laughs> Whew. Anyway, again, even if you don't stream it, there's just something so fascinating um, about something that gets you to really think about yourself. Because I know thinking about yourself is really hard to do. But I think it's helpful in the end. It's also right. I, I really got to be more productive. <laughs> um, I, I actually I actually started that last week. I've been trying to be more productive by posting my artwork on Instagram and on Twitter. I'm trying to pick up the pace because I, I feel like I, I wasn't really getting anywhere art wise. It's like I'm an artist, but I <laughs> it's been so hard to like, you know, really focus on a career wise because it's just slow going. It's hard for artists. I appreciate you, Celery. You're a good person. Remember, I'm psychic. I can tell. <laughs> Thank you. So, um, the, I guess the only thing... I know I know you don't want me to apologize for it, but I do apologize for, like, getting this close to crying on stream. I apologize because I don't like showing that side of me. I didn't think that... I didn't think this game was gonna, you know, make me cry. So, fascinating, isn't it? <laughs> One dollar and ninety-nine cents. If you want to try it for yourself, the test on Steam. I'm gonna go for now. I'm gonna get a snack. I'm gonna get a bathroom break. I'm gonna hug and cry with Seth. <laughs> but uh, I cried at a book yesterday. <laughs> yeah, like I mean, I, I mean, for multiple reasons. Growing up, I, I hard resist the urge to cry. I hate when I cry. I don't, I don't like being vulnerable. But in this case, I think it was kind of healthy. It made me cry and I wasn't playing. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll go for real. But, um, yeah. Uh, anybody who's interested, I, I hope you do play this game. It's it's really interesting. I hope it helps you out if you do. Uh, and if it's too creepy and you want to stay away from it, I respect that decision as well. Although, not wanting to take the test because you're scared of what it's going to reveal... I mean, that alone makes you think about yourself. But anyway. Alright. Um, I, like, maybe I'll see you guys in, like, 15 minutes. Um, if you're tired out on celery content for the day, I totally understand. I don't normally stream two times a day. But, uh, otherwise, I'll catch you guys later. Get snacks, hug your husband, have a good evening. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, um, chin up. Like, this was a very good experience, even though, you know, it, it brought me, it brought me to tears. So, uh, I don't regret it. That was really cool. Uh, everybody have a good rest of the evening if I don't see you on next stream. <laughs> I'll see ya.